it's already september so it's time to take out the pumpkins but they look kind of flat there in the ground and i want to make the entrance look more grand so i'm gonna see if jay can make me something to put the pumpkins more elevated like that when we take pictures of venus and apollo and shrek they look prettier He's building me a bookshelf. These are the pieces that are gonna be in the back so we don't see the wall. And I was trying to put some of my books there, that's my Harry Potter series, to see more or less if the spacing was good and how they were gonna be looking. And with the leftover wood, he's making the crates to make the front porch decorations for fall. All of this scrap wood, it was gonna be trash anyway, so better use it than toss it. He's gonna make me a crate like that, I could put the pumpkins. I wanna add real pumpkins as well as the fake ones that we have already outside. But there's no real pumpkin in my local grocery store yet, so I will have to wait for those more closer to October. crate that Jay made for the outside and already is looking cuter once I get real pumpkins I think it's gonna look super adorable and I don't know if I want to put something on top or leave it like that to put Shrek to take pictures definitely this is not the final product I want to also add a few fall flowers like mums or something like that but for now this is what we're working with I also need to get a rug for this area here in front of the bookshelf. I wanted to make it look like we are in the slithering common room. It's been a few days since the last clip that I put of us finishing my bookshelf and doing the outside decoration for fall. Because this little guy here have been feeling bad. Uh, last October, he was diagnosed with cancer on his stomach. And now, sadly, he has moved also to his mouth. I noticed a little bit of blood around his mouth. I took him to the vet and they found a tumor under his thumb. Uh, he was pushing a few of his teeth out. We decided to remove those teeth to make it more comfortable for him. The medical advice that they give us, I didn't like it. The only option that we have it was remove his full jaw because the tumor is like on this side, like towards the jaw on his right side. And I wasn't going to do that. He's 15 year old. He have lived a long life and I wasn't going to leave him without a jaw. So I choose to keep him comfortable and as long as he's eating, drinking, he have energy and he seems fine, we are gonna keep moving forward. I did change his diet and uh, well, he's eating the same food, but now I'm putting it through the blender to make it like a mashed potato consistency. And like that, I don't want him chewing anything hard that he could um, make the tumor bleed because that was what was happening. I gave him a treat that was hard and he was poking on the tumor and that's how I noticed that he was bleeding. Apollo have noticed that he is feeling bad and Apollo is getting very obsessed with him and he tried to like smell him all the time. I think also is part of the medicine that he's drinking. They put him on antibiotic for the tooths that we remove. We remove like three different teeth in this area and also he's in painkillers for the surgery that he have to remove the teeth and Apollo is being like so concerned it's kind of cute and kind of sad at the same time here is his food he have boiled chicken 
boiled chicken heart. It has sweet potato and pumpkin with a little bit of herb of Provence. Pass it all through the blender so it's easy for him to eat it. He's been doing really good with the meds. He still have a little bit of dry blood on his fur, but tomorrow I'm gonna bathe him. But for now we're chilling here, reading a book, watching some YouTube. Buddy, are you helping mommy organize her TBR? You look so cute, you're so handsome. We are still missing the doors and the shelves down there, the rug here, but the bookshelf is pretty much done. We are missing also the top um, crown molding, but I thought I had a lot of books until I put them in the bookshelf and it looks so empty. These here are all the books I have already read. Here is my Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling collection. Here is my Spanish collection. These ones are the one I haven't read and this one I already read. Some religious book and all of these are my English TBR. I haven't read any of this. I would probably never read this because I'm scared to read it, but my husband got it. So he's there, he started reading it. I haven't even started it and I don't know if I will ever get there, <laughs> but yes. And I think I want to display this one, but I need to buy one of those things that you use to like hold frames. This one we got it in London when we went to see the play of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child when it first, first came out. We traveled to London to watch it and this was the booklet that they give us. And of course I want to display this. This one here is a really rare limited edition exclusive of this Harry Potter book. As you can see, the printing of J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter is flat instead of being like this one that you can see it comes like pops up. Finally, our local grocery store have mums and pumpkins. They only have like the really orangey pumpkins. I want this year to have white ones or like more pastel colors, but this will do for now anyway. I only display them outside for a week and then I cook them, I boil them and make them into a mash and I use it as a topper for Vino Sanapolo's dinner. But for now it looks super adorable.